And we are back with Hot Topics today, just me and Jeff. They were so good, weren't they? <laughs> but they were really good. Yeah. I'm so excited for them. So go see them when you guys can. Mm -hmm. So here's a topic to talk about. <laughs> Jeff, I'm just getting nervous. <laughs> I get you nervous? You get me nervous. Okay, so this was written, um, a statement. So we were, this is the husband talking. Okay. So we were in a newly married couple that just moved into our home. Okay. We've been living together, married for about three months, when my, my wife's mother had to move in with us for some short time okay. uh, while getting her place renovated. However, this short time has become a year now. Ooh. We have had no time together as husband and wife because she is everywhere. My wife keeps telling me her mom's place is almost done, but I feel like she wants her here and loves her company too much, mm. doesn't want to let her go. All right, so what I the, think... the husband do? I think relationships need their space. Right, so, oh, I understand. mom, okay, they were nice and said, come in here for a mm -hmm. short time, but there's a point where you overstay your welcome. Yes. And usually you know when that is. You feel it right away, right? You feel that moment where it's like, oh, okay, I've kind of been here too long. But the confrontation is what's very hard, and since it's not really his mother but mother-in-law, yeah, you never know how it could but yeah. here's the thing. Honesty is the best policy. Just confront it head on and be like, look, we're moving on with our life and we need to have you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You I need feel to like go. it would be so to hard now. to kind of break the news, especially like you never know how can someone can react, and sometimes yeah. you know people get hurt, but you work through that. You know, it's just one of those. It's life. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, mixed emotions. Yeah. Um, another one. Uh, the place I am living in has a no pet, no emotional support policy. Jeez. Oh, so not so so only service dogs. Mm -hmm. Dogs. I live alone, and all I do is work. I need company. I went out and bought a small dog that weighs four pounds, and I've been hiding him in my shoes, my closet, even my mugs when the landlord stops in to check the place. What do I do? Uh, buy a house. You don't have to deal with dog <laughs> How policies. long can I keep hiding him for? <laughs> Forever. <laughs> hey, I do want to plug here while we're here. Uh, New North Magazine. If you have not read this, I have it. To, it absolutely has its finger on the pulse of the Northwoods, and it really has a pretty cool article in here. Okay. And well. one of those articles may be about me. So if you ever were interested in knowing Jeff. more about me and my life, you can see it here Wait, in the New North Magazine. I, I want to read it. You can read it when we're done here. But again, this thing is been around so cool. for a bit now, and it really does have, the, the editors have their finger on the pulse of this community, right? And it's a really good read. Uh, so please pick it up where you can. Wow. Can't wait to read it. Yeah. All right. Well, we are out of time. So more Hot Topics this week. So we'll be back with you guys later. <laughs> Bye, so